Welcome to London. London is the capital of both England, and, the United Kingdom, is a modern metropolis with a Roman era past. Westminster Abbey, the location of British monarch coronations, the magnificent Houses of Parliament, and, the recognizable Big Ben Clock Tower are at its centre. The London Eye Observation Wheel offers sweeping views of the South Bank Cultural Complex, and, the entire city from across the Thames River. London is one of the most captivating cities in the entire world. Ancient laneways are lined with award-winning theatres, high-end stores, and, modern architectural wonders like the Shard. Visitors are forced to gawk at the splendour of the scenic streets as they wind around famous landmarks like Buckingham Palace, Westminster Abbey, and, St. Paul's Cathedral, using up all of their phone's photo storage in the process. With over 20 million visitors annually, it's little wonder London is one of the most visited cities in the world, with so many breathtaking tourist sites, and, captivating things to do. The vibrant capital of Britain has something to offer everyone, including foodies, adventurers, historians, and, families, but it can be difficult to decide what to do first. Should you visit a famous museum, many of which provide free admission, have a picnic in one of the many parks, visit a regal palace, or stroll through a stunning garden? Maybe you'd rather watch a show, go horseback riding in a forest, fly on the London Eye, or have a traditional afternoon tea at Harrods. Buckingham Palace, one of Britain's most recognizable structures, is also the location of London's most well-liked pomp, and, circumstance show, the changing of the guard. This vibrant, and, free performance of precise marching, and, music draws audiences at 11.30am regardless of the season. It also takes place at St. James's Palace, and, thereafter, you may accompany the band as they march around the mall between locations. Since Queen Victoria's accession, Buckingham Palace, which was constructed in 1837, has served as the royal family's London residence. If you're unsure if the Queen is home, check the flagpole on top of the structure. If it is flying day, and, night, she is. She, and, other members of the royal family might even make an appearance on the main balcony for significant state occasions. Visitors can purchase tickets for tours of the state rooms, the Queen's Gallery, and, the Royal Muse while the Queen is away at her summer residence in Scotland. The beautiful Tower of London has served in a variety of capacities over the years, including prison, palace, treasure vault, and, a private zoo. This magnificent World Heritage Site, one of Britain's most recognizable buildings, provides hours of intrigue for travelers interested in the nation's fascinating history, after all, so much of it took place here. The impressive 17th-century line of kings with its astounding exhibits of royal arms, and, armor is located inside the enormous White Tower, which William the Conqueror constructed in 1078. The well-known crown jewels exhibit, the Beefeaters, the Royal Mint, and, gory displays concerning the executions that took place on the grounds are all noteworthy. In addition to learning about the mystery surrounding two princes who vanished many years ago, the Bloody Tower tells tales of ancient torture. One of London's most recognizable landmarks is the nearby Tower Bridge, with its two enormous towers standing 200 feet above the River Thames, fascinating behind-the-scenes tours are available. Walk across for the best views of the tower, and, a glimpse of London Bridge, which many people wrongly think is Tower Bridge, further down the Thames. Butler's Wharf, a hip area of town with many eateries, can be found on the south side of the bridge. The British Museum houses more than 13 million artifacts from the ancient world, making it one of the best collections of antiquities in the world. It's difficult to know where to start with this huge attraction because it has magnificent artifacts from Assyria, Babylonia, China, Europe, and, other cultures. Most visitors start by visiting the museum's most well-known displays, which include the contentious Elgin marbles from the Parthenon, the Rosetta Stone, the enormous bust of Ramses II, the Egyptian mummies, and, the magnificent Mildenhall treasure of 4th-century Roman silver. There are several shops on site, including one that sells replica sculptures, and, jewelry, as well as a well-stocked bookshop with a vast selection of literature on ancient history, archaeology, and, art history. The museum provides a range of lectures, and, seminars, as well as a restaurant, and, cafe, for those with the time to stay longer. Address, Bloomsbury, London,
Great Russell Street. Big Ben, a massive clock with a resonating bell, is housed in a 318-foot tower that screams London more than anything else. It is a famous landmark on par with Tower Bridge, and, the BBC's time signal is known all over the world as Big Ben's tolling. The Houses of Parliament are located below it along the Thames. They have served as the British government's seat for many years, and, were formerly the location of the Royal Westminster Palace where William the Conqueror resided. You may get the best view by crossing Westminster Bridge, and, turning around. Alternately, after passing under the bridge, turn left to head in the direction of the Sea Life London Aquarium, a fun spot to take kids. A fantastic photo with Big Ben in the background can be taken by gathering your group around the wall. Tours of the legislative buildings provide a rare opportunity to observe ongoing debates, and vibrant political conversations. Whitehall, which is surrounded by so many governmental structures, and is accessible from Parliament Square, has earned the moniker Whitehall for the British government. It's nearly impossible to travel to London without seeing the magnificent National Gallery. This famous, columned museum is situated on the edge of Trafalgar Square, and is home to amazing works of art, making it one of the top tourist destinations in London. London's National Gallery, one of the best art museums in the world, offers a nearly full overview of European painting from 1260 to 1920. The Dutch masters, and Italian schools of the 15th, and 16th century collections at the museum are among its strongest points. Highlights include a drawing, early sketch, of Leonardo da Vinci's Madonna, and, child, Michelangelo's The Entombment, Botticelli's Venus, and Mars, Van Gogh's Sunflowers, and Monet's The Water Lily Bond. Address, Charing Cross, Trafalgar Square, London. The Natural History Museum, and Science Museum are also part of the South Kensington-based group of museums, which also includes the Victoria, and, Albert Museum, often known as the V&A. Since its founding in 1852, the V&A has housed more than 5,000 years of art, and related objects in its 145 galleries, which are spread out across about 13 acres. The exhibitions, which are neatly divided into four main categories, include ceramics, and glass, fabrics, and costumes, silver, and jewelry, ironwork, sculpture, prints, and photographs. Asia, furniture, textiles, fashion, sculpture, metalwork, ceramics, glass, and word, and image are among the topics covered. The best strategy for navigating this enormous museum is to prioritize the portions you want to view in advance because it is difficult to see them all in one visit. It is highly advised to take a V&A tour, which is frequently free, and offers options ranging from daily introduction tours to focused gallery or themed excursions. More magnificent than any museum dining establishment you have seen are the main, and garden cafes. Everything, from the floor to the columns to the ceiling has rich workmanship that makes them works of art in, and of themselves. The meal is also extremely excellent. Don't pass up the chance to relax in the John Medeski Garden, which is so lovely, and, tranquil that you'll forget you're in the middle of one of the biggest cities in the world. If you're in the area, check out one of the entertaining Friday late events that are hosted on the last Friday of every month, except for March, and December, and are well known for their late night exhibition openings, and experiences with food, and drink. Address, Knightsbridge, London, Cromwell Road. Piccadilly Circus, and Trafalgar Square, two of London's most well-known tourist attractions, are close to one another, and serve as the entrances to Soho, the city's vibrant theatre, and entertainment quarter. The distance between the two is extremely fun to stroll because it is surrounded by unique stores, scrumptious cafes, ice cream shops, and winding lanes that harken back to a time when only horses, and carriages could navigate these cobblestone alleys. To honor Lord Horatio Nelson's triumph against the French, and Spanish at Trafalgar in 1805, Trafalgar Square was constructed. The eventual consequence was the creation of Tate Britain, which now has its permanent collection of ancient British paintings in Millbank on the north bank of the Thames. The modern art collections are housed in a power plant that was across the Thames beautifully renovated. The British capital houses dozens of popular landmarks and historical buildings. Each of them narrates a story of the city's abundant past. It is one of the most cosmopolitan cities in the world. As such, it offers heaps of modern art, hip culture, historical attractions, peculiar facts and lush parks.